In this video, I'd like to talk about the increasing and decreasing intervals for functions. Before we look at these example problems, let's first talk about the definitions. So an increasing interval is essentially when as your x value increases, so we can say as x increases, the y value increases as well. So as x gets bigger and bigger, as it goes towards the positive numbers, the y value will also increase. And a decreasing interval, as you can imagine, is essentially the opposite. So in this case, as x increases, as x approaches the positive numbers, the y value in this case will decrease. And with these two definitions in mind, let's take a look at the different example problems and see if we can apply them. We need to select the intervals where g, this is our function g of x, is decreasing. So as x increases, the y value needs to decrease. And there's a couple different ways to look at it, but basically these intervals are gonna be split between the peaks and the valleys. So notice that for negative x values, starting at negative five and then going all the way down to maybe negative 2.7 or so, that our y values are getting more and more negative. So this is an interval right here where it is decreasing. And likewise, after that interval, the y values get bigger and bigger. So in that case, as x approaches the positive numbers, as x gets bigger and bigger, the y values themselves get bigger and bigger. So this interval here from whatever this x value is to about this x value, this is an increasing interval. And likewise, once it reaches this peak, then as x increases further, the y values get smaller and smaller. So this right here is also a decreasing interval. Now, I mentioned there are other ways to look at it. One other way, and this is more thinking with calculus, you wanna pick a point on the graph and draw a line that is tangent to that function or to that curve. So if you draw a little line here that just touches at that point, if this line has a positive slope, then it's increasing. If, for instance, you draw in this line, and it doesn't have to be perfect just to get a rough idea, if you draw in this line and it has a negative slope, then you know it's decreasing. And likewise, just to complete the pattern, at these peaks and valleys, if you were to draw that line, it would be a flat line where the slope is zero, because at that point, it is neither increasing or decreasing. So that's another way to look at it, but from a more algebraic perspective, you really just need to determine as x gets bigger and bigger, are the y values going up or are they going down? So now with all this in mind, let's try and answer the problem. And so we're gonna go through each of these intervals and see if it's decreasing on any of them. And for these, we need to choose all answers that apply. So it could be all of them or it could be none of them. So for a from minus five to minus four, so that's this x value to this one. So it looks like it starts there and maybe goes to there. Well, on this interval, notice the y value started around maybe minus 12 and finished around close to minus 50. So it's definitely decreasing there. So that one is correct. We can fill that one in. And from minus two to two, so now we're looking at from here to here. So it starts at a very negative y value, lower than minus 60, and it finishes at a very positive y value around 10. So in that case, this is an increasing interval. So that one's not correct. And then from three to four, so that's here to here. So it looks like starts around maybe 12 and then goes all the way down into the negatives or close to it, maybe negative two or so. So in that case, it is definitely decreasing in the y values. So choices A and C would both be correct, which means it can't be none of the above. So let's look at some different problems just to keep applying these definitions. And so this one, we need to know which intervals 
is the function increasing? So in which intervals is the y value going up as the x values increase? And so you can notice, let's take from here to here. This would be an increasing interval. Since as the x values get bigger, as it goes from minus 3 to maybe minus 1.6, the y values go from minus one to zero. They are getting larger. So that's increasing. It's also increasing from here to here and roughly from here to here. So there are many different increasing intervals here. Whereas this interval, this interval, this interval, and maybe that little part there, those are all decreasing intervals, which in this case we're not concerned with. And I should mention this is also increasing as well, but it's just a tiny part there. And again, one way to confirm that it's increasing, if you imagine drawing a tangent line, so a line that just touches the curve at any given point, it only touches at that one particular point, if the slope of that line is positive, then it's an increasing interval. And in this case, it is. So let's look at the different answer choices. So from minus four to minus three, so that's here to here, that looks to be decreasing. The y values go down in that case. So that's not right, but from minus one to zero, so that's here to here, looks like in that case, we are again decreasing. The y values are getting smaller, so that's not correct. And if we look at this last one, 3.5 to 4.5, so roughly here, to about here. In that case, it actually is increasing. So that answer or that interval makes sense for our particular problem. So choice C is the correct answer, which means that it can't be none of the above. And let's look at another problem here. So this one again, we're looking at the intervals where h, our function is h of x in this case, is increasing. So increasing intervals, basically find the valley and then go to a peak. So this section here is our increasing section, whereas it looks like everything else is decreasing. As x gets bigger and bigger, for the other sections, the y value is going down. But for our section, as x gets bigger and bigger, starting around that x value and going to roughly around zero, the y values are getting bigger and bigger. So this is our increasing interval. And looking at our particular choices, so from minus five to minus three, so that's here to here, that's decreasing, so that's not correct. From minus two to zero, that is increasing. That's on our interval that we're concerned with. So it looks like B is correct. And starting at zero and going to two, so right around here and going to right about there, that is decreasing. So that would not be correct. And it can't be none of the above since we establish from minus two right there to zero that the y values are getting bigger as the x value goes from minus two to zero. So choice letter B is our final answer.